is a binary trigger and basically when you pull the trigger it shoots and when you release the trigger it shoots which can make for some crazy speed QB game so first I'm going to tell you about the setup that I ran this at if you like to have a gun that is insanely fast and you never touch auto you're going to want to do this I told you how to program it on the sensitivity so on semi program it to the highest sensitivity meaning it's the most responsive when you pull the trigger then once you do that we're going to program it to a binary trigger so in order to do that put your selector in safe like you've started all of them pull and hold the trigger for three seconds till you hear the rifle emit the vibration slash beeps same as the other ones move it to semi like that and then pull the trigger three times so again, here, we let it beep. One, two, three, semi. So if you want to cancel that operation, then you just move back to safe again and hold the trigger for three seconds. But now that I've programmed it to binary, pull the trigger, let go of the trigger. Oh, sorry, I canceled it. I had binary set. Hold on. There we go. I canceled it. Sorry. I'm stupid. So there we go. Pull it. Let go of it. And I have the highest sensitivity setting on it again. So. And that's all on semi right there that I just did. And that's not even me uh, trigger fingering it too hard. So. Again. For binary. The most useful mode. Just put it on semi. Hold it three seconds. Pull it three times. Flip it to semi. And you're done. Other than that, the MOSFET just has battery protection, um, motor gearbox protection, you know, what a MOSFET should do. Uh, and then other than that, your your just instruction manual claims it has all kinds of vibration warnings and stuff, whatever. I don't really read the instructions on guns besides for this because I couldn't believe this gun had it. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and we'll go shoot it. Uh, I don't have a chronograph at the time, but I can confirm it chronographs right around 360 FPS with a .20 BB. Um, so that's that's a little bit high for certain CQB areas. It could just be my model, but at the same time, with a quick change spring gearbox, it's not hard at all to go change your spring in it. But that's the Matrix Calico Jack, and let's go ahead and go shoot it.